the way. I'm getting French shot. Someone's dead. Shot. Why are you killing me? Shut you up. We're outside the storage room. Portal. <laughs> okay. That mean they I all got it. It's only fair. I all totally right. led the bow on you. Okay. They're they're so fighting you know. the ender grape. So we're meeting outside the storage room portal because right behind it is a piston bolt to banners that are mistakenly hidden by portal. Uh, we got a whole bunch of people online. Today we had nine people. And that was that was pretty interesting. That's the most active this server has been in a long time. But uh, today, this is going to be the first showcase video. Um, this is going to be a series of projects that we've completed on our server. And I mean completely done. There's nothing more to do. Every block has been placed. Everything's running as it should. And all our plans have been made. And that's kind of when we're going to finally show something off in its own video. Like this one. The Guardian Farm. So... This is the piston bolt to it, and there's not really much to say, so I think we should hop in and head out. Let's go. And here it is. I'm in spectator mode to watch these things fall. So a whole lot of people are up there, so this thing is running at maximum efficiency with all these people loading it. There's the item elevator with the items going up. And this is it. We have our full-scale 60x60 60 60 water pool guardian farm with... Pillars in the middle, I've done many videos on this, I'll link them in the description on how to build a farm just like this. And this farm runs at a little over 100,000 items an hour, I mean easily, we get loads of every item that they drop. We don't save the the fish, all the items go down here. Minecarts pick them up, and they actually get dropped off down here. Just a bunch of, uh, bunch of droppers on a clock, and every item gets shot right here. Uh, this was a giant server project, and probably why I'm doing this one first. I mean, not only is it done, but it was a lot of people working together to make this happen. Like, Jackson, Viral, and I think Q did a lot of the mining in digging this hole here, because this took quite a while for us, at least. Uh, we mined a little bit down here just to even it out, to get the stripes in place. It was a lot of work getting enough glass, and it was just a big group project. Like, even um, placing these fence gates... This took a long time, and I could not have done it alone. Um, Adventure Boss and Viral for sure did most of the water clearing. So, this is a great symbol of our server and the things that we've accomplished. Does anybody have anything to say about it? No. It's extremely Ooh. laggy. No, <laughs> extremely that. laggy, yeah, well, he's not wrong. Um, so, uh, what, what we got going on? So, I'm going to hop back into survival mode now. One uh, thing that's have... nice is the mushroom farm is so close to this. For the future mushroom farm. Yeah, we'll, we'll show that later, and when it's. Done. I know, but so, it's um, nice that they are close together. We've got a four-way portal that goes off because zombie pigmen could ruin an AFK session of too many spawn. Uh, we decided to have storage for our items all in speed crafting systems, and this is simply because any blocks that we want to get out of this farm, sea lanterns, crystals, or prismarine, we don't want to, you know, bother crafting. So we have my custom speed crafting system. This has saved our asses making t tens and tens and thousands of sea lanterns. My? Really? You're going to ruin a video like this? <laughs> really? You're, you're going you're gonna to pull credit here? Yes, my system. Oh. Shit, I'm leaving it in. So this goes into oh, my mean, I... speed crafting system V2, where it shoots out one of the ingredients first, and then the second one that was based on. We actually had a different speed crafting system in here in one of our first videos, and then we actually Ooh. tore it out, removed everything, and then swapped it out with the newer system to make it easier to craft. And then all of the crystals that are goddamn ender grapes. <laughs> when the shards go through, they go into these crafting systems. This is a typical one that we use for iron as well. And then you can just choose whether to craft prismarine or prismarine bricks. And then ink sacks get filtered out of here. So it's weird making a video on this because this has been done for months. But I figured it was time and I wanted a lot of people online to show that, you know, this is a team effort and not just something I did alone. Because that's not at all true. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to be it. Um, I'm going to show one, maybe two things per video just to kind of space them out. If it's a small enough project, I mean, obviously, I'll couple things, but I really think that this video is, you know, this is the project that has deserved its own video. So, yeah, it's not going to be too long, but, uh, yeah. So that's going to be the first uh, Minerva Showcase video. I um, suppose that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.